Pilots should consult their performance charts prior to any takeoff, but especially a takeoff that's a little out of the norm. Knowing and applying some rules of thumb regarding takeoffs can help you make better initial decisions regarding go or no go for a particular set of circumstances. Keep watching, you'll see what I mean. Next on 57 Seconds to Safer Flying. Back in 2004, I investigated this accident at a grass strip fly-in luncheon where someone had captured the crash on video. There were four folks on board, lots of gas, a 2,000-foot grass strip, a warm day with a left crosswind. The pilot had failed to consider aircraft performance and the laws of physics were not to be denied. He attempted to rotate at a point where he should have been chopping the power and the pressures of a crowd didn't help. Rule one, fixed pitch prop aircraft. Add an additional 15% to the calculated takeoff distance for each 1,000 feet of density altitude. Rule two, for short runways, pick a spot halfway down the runway where you'll chop the power if you're not at 70% of your rotation speed. If there are obstructions, pick a spot three tenths from your brake release point. Rule three, be quick in deciding to wait for better conditions like lower temp, more favorable winds, which may be hours later. Rule four, don't let other folks watching you put performance pressure on you to go when the numbers say don't go. To read more about this topic, look for a link in this video's description. To read any of our other info sheets, look for them at FAA.gov. For the FAST team, I'm Phil Dixon.